Hi everyone, welcome to my image processing tutorial. Now, people who are watching this video for the first time, I would recommend to view the other two movies uh, in the playlist first, then come to this one. But although mm, you can watch, um, so let's get started. So, in the projects, uh, as I have told you, we have three files. Now, we have talked a little bit about the image viewer, and they are in the load file procedure. Now we will look at the image filter file. Although its name is blur image filter, I have named it by mistake. So uh, it's not blurring the image at all. So it's just a name of the class and it extends from the image filter. Now this image filter is the heart of our application. Uh, so, if we are to think about uh, image filter, we can find the analogy of real filters in our life. So, what a filter actually do? Uh, the fluid actually passes through the filter. So, in uh, image filter, every pixel will pass through our program. So, uh, we can access uh, information about each pixel. Uh, in the image we are having. So let's first uh, explain the set hints uh, method that we have overrided and there is hints is telling. So in the hint uh, we have just added the information using or equal to uh, operator. We have uh, assigned a value that is top down left right. So this is giving a hint that the image process the pixels of the image will be processed from top down from left to right now uh, think about this image uh, it is actually of s dimension you can see the 41024 into 768 so this much of pixels and they won't be uh, accessed or they won't be passed through our filter at the time so what will happen from that large amount of filter that is uh, 1024 into 768 uh, part of the pixel will be coming and we will be processing them and how to process them we have set the hints like this and we have called the super method now there uh, one the next and the most important procedure that we should be looking is the set pixels now set pixels uh, is by its name you can guess it used to set the pixels the most important uh, uh, data members uh, you, you will have in it is one of those the pixels that means those pixels that are passed to the filter that is stored within the integer array and it is of scan size means uh, somewhat uh, uh, how many pixels that are passed to you so say if you have a uh, image containing 10,000 pixels uh, it might just happen only 2,000 pixels is passed to your program uh, at once so the scan size will hold the 2,000 um, data and the offset means from where to start looking generally it is zero and the other are X and Y for the starting offset and W and H for the weight and height. Now the color information that is stored inside the color model model object. So this model object will hold that what model uh, is in use. Is it RGB or grayscale? Now we have been using um, uh, this JPEG files so they are in they use the RGB color model so let's see what we have inside it and what we have done so the first thing we need to do we need to get the we need to loop through uh, the all the pixels that have been passed to us so we have made a loop uh, which is which runs scan times scan size times and we have done something within it now what we have done actually we have uh, got the red, green and blue our component uh, using the component array from the pixels and we have indexed the loop as an index of that uh, array and we have 
got that then we have got that component from the model object that is get component from which pixels from pixels loop and component and this is somewhat a default option mm, that uh, is generally used as zero and then we have uh, taken out uh, we have modified the uh, blue value if you can remember this is R G B so red part will be component uh, 0 COMP 0 the green part should be COMP 1 and the blue part should be COMP 2 so we have modified the blue part of the image to our desired value now remember the maximum value or the range of value the component part can take as an integer it is 0 to 255 so this is how it is uh, designed or this is how it works and then we have put the data back into the pixel using get data element component 0 so this is how it works we have uh, examined every pixel from this loop and we have stored the information of the red green and blue and also alpha too uh, sometimes so inside the component and then we have modified it uh, the blue part into our desired value and finally we have put that uh, pixel value again inside the pixel array and finally we have called the super method so this is how it works just uh, remember one thing that here it is pixels because jpegs have pixels that are of 16 bit whereas some images contains 8 bit pixels so in this case the pixels that have byte so you can override any of them I have overrided this one because my program processes the JPEG files so this is how it works I guess um, you have some idea about the image processing program and thanks for watching the video and uh, stick for the other videos too